hello guys i'm back with another little chat video i know i don't have any tea on me you know these talks were initially called tea talks but there's no tea right now but i have still been drinking my tea so make sure you drink yours we're just gonna get into this video this is about getting out of your flop era because i got out of my flop era and when you're in your flop era it almost feels like it's eternal but why didn't I give up while I was in my flop era? Because there was a little voice inside of me that just told me that I couldn't. And I really, 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 really thank all of the mindset books that I read at a very young age. I really thank my brother, one of my friends, and her mom. Like These individuals helped me at a very young age. I'm talking about the eighth grade, guys. Like I was a little tiny bean learning about mindset and learning about what to focus on learning about vision boards learning about energy learning about law of attraction I was learning about all of these things and although things have gone up and down for me because that's just the way that life goes sometimes you got to hit these little downs to learn a specific lesson to get all of these knowledge points in order to use when you're up and of course up and down is a human it's a human type of measurement, you know, like you get to decide if you're up, you get to decide if you're down, it, you get to qualitate that, you know, and of course, society creates all of these qualitative measures on how to measure if you're doing good or if you're doing bad. But at the end of the day, it's going to have to come to how you feel inside, right? So that's what my determiner has been of like, oh, well, I've had high ups, low lows, you know, the ups and downs of life. But I really, really, really I'm so grateful that in this life I got to learn about my brain and how what I pay attention to really matters and the story that I tell myself matters because if I didn't, I would be in a very deep hole. But because I really, really, really focused on the good, even when things weren't feeling too good, when I... I just think the fact that I focused on a positive side of everything has led me to where I am now and being able to get out of my flop era and I didn't just hit like a super downward demise and I would say I couldn't have done it on my own. Where I'm at right now has to do with a lot of faith in the universe and trusting that the universe would take me to exactly where I needed to be and where I'm at now like I have like the type of help that I could have never even imagined like, it's like I didn't imagine it, but I guess somewhere deep down inside of me, I knew that I could have this and that's why I'm here because you really got to see it and feel it to get there. Um, And just the people around me are just like words can't even describe how grateful I am. And yeah, I didn't fully do it on my own, but I know that focusing on the good while I wasn't feeling good, it got me to here, right? So I think that's one thing to be really mindful while you're in your flop era. It's, are you gonna accept the flop and go downhill? Or are you gonna accept the flop and curate a plan and focus on the good and at least try your best, you know? So I had been actively losing followers on like all my social media platforms and everything and I spoke about this on a previous one about my previous video talking about the pros and cons of growing a, a social media platform but this one is more so about how I got out of it where I'm at now because even when I thought I was getting out of my flop bear I can't even measure up to where I'm at now and to where I'm headed so obviously I'm very excited about that and it's kind of funny because it, this video might be filled with a couple cliches like Instagram Reels has been so good to me. Figuring out that algorithm has been so good to me. I know how annoying, right, to hear about algorithm this, figuring out the algorithm that. But that is what it kind of comes down to. And again, another cliche, being consistent. I started posting about two to three times a day and just being really mindful. <laughs> I love the word mindful. Being really mindful of like where I put the text, having things that are cohesive and kind of follow a certain pattern. And I kind of found that like me making food videos, like trying new foods did really good for me. So I'm mixing it. So I didn't just like fully go in on food because I don't want to be a full on foodie content creator, you know, but that's 
one place where I could show my personality, show the things that I like, because of course I love food, but also incorporate more things like flea markets. I go to a lot of flea markets, so I can go showcase my day there. You know, I really like clothes, so I could showcase that. So I don't, I'm not solely posting about food. I know that if I did, it'd probably even like skyrocket, but part of getting out your flop era like once you get really consistent and start posting those two to three times a day i know it sounds heavy but it's doable if you just even stay down for a month don't post anything stockpile your content and then release it and then go back and see what's working and what's not working you're going to you're going to have some success in in whatever you're pushing forth right but now that I have like a really good wave, like when I reached a million accounts, I was like, okay, got out my flop era, doing good. And then I refreshed it one day and it was like 3 million accounts reached. I'm like, hello? Like genuinely in shock, like, but it also not too in shock because I, I dedicate all day to this, so that's where we're at with that. I mean, the numbers do not lie. And um, now that I'm like, okay, I got some momentum. And I'm seeing what I like to record, where I want to head. Now I'm in the like world building part of this. And building a world is so important. I think it's funny how certain things like streamline because when I was in school studying entertainment media management, a lot of it was about world building and like the television shows and the movies especially that go really big are the ones that can build worlds but really complex worlds and have it, it's just a whole lot in that realm but it translates into social media being able to build a world here and build something that people can just simply register and be like oh yeah that's her like when people can describe you without saying your name that's when you know like you hit it on the head right because you're gonna like everybody watches so many creators so many things a day so many random videos especially with like a tiktok algorithm where things are just like really random being able to register someone is going to be one of the number one things like today i made these cucumbers right and all i went all i did was search cucumber guy on tiktok and the video that i exactly was thinking about came up because he's the guy who always makes different types of cucumbers in these little containers right so i can label him as the cucumber guy and so has the entire platform so he's really easy to search for so where i'm at now is now building a series genuinely like the series of my dreams like it's a series that really encapsulates creativity in the sense of the things that I like. I've always really, like, my favorite show is Black Mirror. I've always loved, like, cybery aesthetics. I've never fully embodied it. You see sprinkles here and there. But I love, like, space age and just things of that nature. But it, they've always just been things that I just, like, hold close to my heart. But I don't necessarily present a lot. But I realized... I want to have something that isn't fully about me, that isn't fully about seeing my life. Like, I want to be able to share the pieces of my life when I want, but I don't want all of my content to surround my life. I want it to surround my thoughts and my ideas and what I contemplate and the shows that I'm inspired by. So I'm working on the series, a little bit Black Mirror-esque. Really stay tuned for this, okay? You guys are, like, the first of massive people that's, good, that's like, hearing about this. Very Black Mirror-esque. And it, it, like, really ties in just all this, like, cyberness that I like. I am constantly thinking about the future and how things are going to unravel, specifically with AI and technology and the internet and social media and where humans are going to lay in all of this right so that's kind of like what my series is gonna encompass is just different random things that I think about things that I kind of imagine for the future things that scare me for the future kind of like my current reality mixed with what I think maybe 2034 will be maybe 2044 can't believe in 2044 
I'm going to be in my 40s. Like, I'm not afraid to age. It's just crazy. Like, I feel like when I turn 40, I'm just still going to feel like a 20-year-old girl. And that's going to be that. But I think it's it's really cool that I'm working on this because then my future self can look back to what I thought the it's kind of like my little future predictions right that come from again media that I've watched from news just from different different aspects of real life and where I kind of sit right now with everything that's where I'm at now I'm building that out and again like I could not have done this literally without Jared I just couldn't have like and that's, and I'll make a whole other dedicated video toward being mindful about who you keep around you. And yeah, that's going to be a whole separate video. <laughs> but nonetheless, it's like, I just have so much gratitude in my heart and so much excitement to bring something forward that is just so creative and has been living in my mind for so long and to finally be able to execute it such a blessing and I'm so proud of myself but um the reason why I want to build something that isn't like about me and what I do and like my business is because I feel like been there done that I have overshared and I do I love to come to YouTube and like share my stories share my thoughts and everything but I don't want to f I have just seen so much shit go down with creators who just post all of their life and then people really think that they know you and then things get drawn out of proportion like there's just so many things that can go wrong with that and although me the person that I am I'm gonna share my life I'm gonna share my thoughts I'm gonna share my ideas but I want to try different ways of expressing that and sharing that with the world so I feel like the series is perfect I'm trying to launch it by next week, so by the time you see this, just stay tuned on like my Instagram, my TikTok, I believe I'm also going to put it on there, and um, so part of this shift is also taking place within my style and my aesthetic, like I've always been fashion forward, I've always been kind of like streetwear, and I've always liked to dip and dabble in a lot of styles, but I really, really, really want to hone in on my personal style and make something cohesive that goes along with my series. So I literally started working on this on this board. And I think this would be perfect for you. If you're looking to really hone in on the new person you want to become. Get yourself on. What is it called? Pinterest. So I'm going to show you guys like my Pinterest. And what I like and stuff. It's so important to do this. Because you have to really like see it. To feel it. To be it. So. I literally have a Pinterest board. Let's see if you guys can... I know it might be a little tricky to see. I have a Pinterest board that's literally called, like, Cyber Attack. And, like, you can kind of see... You kind of see it. And that details how I want my shoots to look like moving forward. How I want my look to look like. Hairstyles I should do. Filters. The clothing I want to wear. And being able to see it on a daily basis and like, I feel like I've always overcomplicated this stuff for myself. I've always been like, I'm here, but I want to get there. But everything is happening everywhere all at once. There is no here or there. There's just now. So having that vision now and in my face, it's like, does this align with the vision? Yes. Or does this align with the vision? No. So that's how I'm moving forward. That's how I'm getting out of my flop era. It's consistency and a clear vision and also revision. So going back, seeing what works, seeing what doesn't work and tailoring things accordingly. You look good in this lighting. I can't see myself because I don't have my glasses you on. These? Let me see, but then you can't see. No, I'm going to make the meatballs for dinner. Meatballs for dinner. Wow, this looks good. Yeah. Your hair looks so cute. We're so demure and mindful. We're so demure and mindful. Something about the demure and mindful gal. She posted something that I actually want to share. I this was literally the video that I watched before making this video. Stay consistent, everybody. Stay consistent. So I don't know if you guys have seen the girl. She makes the videos and she's like, I'm very demure, very mindful. When I go to work, I'm not going to do a green cut crease. I keep things cutesy. 
Demirzi, very mindful. I don't know if you guys have seen her. If you haven't, I don't know what it is, but I'm so drawn to her. And today, she posted a video that said that the moment she stopped victimizing herself, things just went up for her. That she used to go online and complain about why brands wouldn't want to work with her. And she's like, you think a brand is going to want to work with me if I come on here and I'm just always complaining? No. So she said that the moment she stopped thinking about all the reasons why not and why all the reasons why not her and all of the negative. And I know like I don't even want to sound like too new agey because you know what? Whatever you feel is valid and you are right. And that's the thing about all of this. Like you're right. You, how you feel about yourself is right because that's how you feel about yourself, you know? And I've been in places before where I'm in like a victim mindset and I'm not wrong because that's how I feel about myself, but I'm not going to get anywhere further. If I continue to think that things are going wrong for me because this is this, this and that, how about things are going right for me because this is that and that. So yeah, and I mean, sometimes even being in such a beautiful place can be a little bit frightening, a little bit scary, especially if you've lived a lot of your life in survival mode like this is just the most beautiful life has been so it's easy for my brain to be like mm, well what if this bad thing comes up you know what I'm saying but I have to remember that I am not my thoughts and all the negative ones are illusions and I'm just not that I'm this and this is beautiful and this is great and where I'm at is amazing so yeah the the Demir girl I forgot her name but see I can describe her without having a name and if I look up Demure she is the face of Demure and she's going up she said the brand deals are calling the numbers are going up she's feeling good about herself so that is key are you stuck in your old stories if you have fully accepted that you flopped and there is no way up then that is your reality or if you can accept that you have flopped and that it is time to create a new path for yourself or to find to the path that you've been on, that will also be your truth. So it will all be up to you. Your mind is so powerful. I will never stop saying that. You have the power to get out of your flop era. If you need more specific advice, if something that I've always really wanted to do is because I feel like I do have a gift for this is like, let me know what you want out of your life. Especially in this, and this doesn't have to be in social media or not. It's just social media is one of my fortes. But just in life, tell me what you want. Tell me what your plans are. Tell me what you're having trouble with. And I will be more than glad to respond to you and look at you, hear your story, and help you find a path. I cannot do the work for you, but I could possibly provide a little bit of clarity for you. So my DMs are always open. My comment section is always open. Send me a message. And I, I look through it. I look through the DMs. I look in there for business. And I look in there if someone really wants to share something deep with me. So, yeah, I will be there. I am here for you always. You can get out of your flop era. If I could do it, you could do it, okay? <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. <sighs> Love you guys. I'm so happy I was able to share this. And I'm so sorry that it took me so long to get this video up. But, well, record it because I'm going to get it up right now. I'm about to go eat more cucumber from that from the cucumber guy. Bro, his Dentai Fung recipe, go check that out. Okay, bye guys. Love you guys.